Hey, good morning, guys. It's Dave Santorelli here from BreakingChartAlerts.com. It's Day Trade Friday today, and we got some movers here in the pre-market hours that I want to go over here quickly. As you can see in front of us here, uh, we got SPY holding that 330 we've been talking about. It's holding that pretty well, the 333 area. We got Peloton that just had earnings yesterday after the bell. Huge beat. The company expects this uh, continued revenue increase and continued sales to go into 2021. I mean, they literally crushed sales uh, and EPS here. So that stock was actually just upgraded this morning too. Let me see here. Uh, Peloton was upgraded to 115 a share. And that's a pretty big move here. So Peloton shares are about 97.55 a share right now. Got up to about 100 bucks here in the pre-market hours. Uh, we're going to be looking for a day trade on that. That implied move now is going to bring that option premium down on the option chain. And like I said, today's day trade Friday. So that theta value, that time value is totally decayed today since today is Options Expo. So remember, today is September 11th too. Uh, so we got some, probably some volatility in the markets coming today, as we usually see. And then we got some good upgrades here today as well. Chewy was upgraded, um, raised their price target at $62 a share. Thermal Fisher, Scientific, they raised their price to $432. Oracle has an outperform rating. So an outperform means that they're expecting this stock to outperform the general market here. They raised their price target at $66 a share. So if we take a look at ORCL, you know, we could definitely look at that pop there. I mean, that stock's up 4.78% here in the pre-market hour. If we take a look at three months out, or I'm sorry, three years out, we're, out, we're actually near the highs, all-time highs here on Oracle. So I could definitely be looking for a day trade or even a swing trade on Oracle. That's going to be one that's going to be on our watch list for today, Day Trade Friday, Peloton, and then, of course, the SPY. We're going to be looking to do some day trades on the SPY as well. Markets were up about 160 points in the morning. Uh, we've since retraced a little bit here since uh, since that morning. And uh, we got a couple other movers here. You know, Amazon's up about 0.7%, up $21. We got Tesla again up to $380, up over 2% here in the pre-market. Um, and our Snapchat trade, 23.58, continuing to climb up over 1.2%. Overstock is up nearly 5% here in the pre-market hours. And then we also have Facebook uh, continuing to climb here as well, 269.80 a share. Uh, so we'll be taking a look at that as well today. And then we also have Alibaba here up about 1.5%, 2.71 a share. We just released our daily newsletter here, guys. So go check out our newsletter. Uh, today, after the, or actually before the bell here, we had Kroger earnings and uh, iBio here. So if we take a look at Kroger, KR. Stock had a big pop, a big drop right down to that 50. Um, so that's going to be one we could take a look to day trade as well. Always put down on your notebook here the top stocks you want to you want to look at in the morning there. So you don't forget the big market movers. You know, Oracle is going to be one of them, Peloton, Amazon, Facebook, Snapchat, and Spy. So that's what we're going to be focused on today, guys. I hope you have a day, great day. Uh, and like I said, day trade Friday. Let's Let's have a great day. Alrighty guys, I'll see you live in a few minutes. Take care and have a great day.